Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about how the MTR radar can be used or what process the MTR radar use for clutter attenuation. In case of MTR radar receiver, a single lead line canceller do not have an ability to remove the clutter completely from the output of the MTR radar receiver. So the basic problem arises with the MTR radar receiver is that the MTR radar receiver having a stationary object or stationary eco clutter at the output of the single delay liner. Also the MTR radar faces a problem of blind speed of target. The blind speed of target occurs when the Doppler frequency created by moving target matches with the multiple of pulse repetition frequency and because of that it may possible that the target becomes undetectable even if the target is present at one particular location. So these two problems are considered as a drawback or limitations of the MTR radar. So in this topic we are going to discuss limitation of single delay line canceller then we are going to also discuss the clutter leaking parameter that is internal motion instability of the oscillator imperfection in the signal processor. Then we also have a discussion about clutter attenuation provided by single delay line canceller and last is nothing but cascading of delay lines by clutter attenuation. At the end we've solved some MCQ so that we can understand the topic properly. So now we can say that the frequency response of a delay liner is considered as a constant cosine amplitude variation with respect to multiple of pulse repetition frequency. So the power density function can be given as Now he, this is the power density function of clutter where W0 is the peak value of power density function of clutter then uh, sigma C is nothing but the standard deviation of clutter and sigma V is the standard deviation of clutter signal at frequency F. So the same equation can be used for obtaining the value of clutter attenuation and the clutter attenuation value can be given as where HF is the frequency response of single delay liner. Now we know that HF is equals to HF is equals to 2 sin pi F D T P and it is obtained from the response of the previous single delay liner. So we can write the clutter attenuation as CA is equals to integration 0 to infinity WF DF divided by integration 0 to infinity WF mod of HF square DF. So we further simplify the equation and we obtain the simple equation as clutter attenuation is now equals to 0 0.5 upon 1 minus exponential of minus 2 pi square tp square sigma c square. So this is what about the clutter attenuation of single delay line filter. Now when we further solve the equation because the denominator term contain the exponential factor. So we need to solve the equation further. So now clutter equation is obtained as fp square divided by 4 pi square sigma c square which is also equals to fp square lambda square upon 16 pi square sigma v square. Now here the value of sigma c is given as so sigma c is equals to 2 sigma v upon lambda. Now the clutter attenuation provided by single delay line canceller is not enough to remove all the clutter present at the output of the MTR radar. So we require to cascade number of single delay liner so that it can able to remove the clutters or the signals which are present at the output of the MTR radar. So for the cascade form of the single delay liner we can write the same equation as so here we consider that the two single delay line cancellers are used. So the frequency response of the second delay line canceller is given as So as we are using two single 
delay line canceller therefore the clutter attenuation of the cascade network which consists of two single delay line canceller is given as So the frequency response of the second delay liner is obtained by using an equation that is mod hf is equal to 4 sin 2 pi f d t p and the clutter intonation of the cascade network which consists of two single delay line canceller is given as f p raised to 4 divided by 48 pi raised to 4 into sigma c raised to 4. Now the same equation is further elaborated in terms of lambda and the equation becomes fp raised to 4 into lambda raised to 4 divided by 768 pi raised to 4 into sigma c raised to 4. So from the equation we can come to know that as more number of single delay line canceller get added the value of clutter attenuation is get increases and therefore we can get the desired response at the output of the MTI filter and therefore it is possible to remove the clutter completely from the output of the MTI receiver. So this is what about the clutter can cancellation of a MTI receiver. Now let's move to the MCQ part. So here before moving to the MCQ part first have a look of the clutter attenuation comparison between the single and double line clutter. So here the uh, we can say the clutter spectrum is present and the single client cancellation can provide the clutter at the output of the MTR receiver whereas clutter fold over is also present at the frequency response. So now let's move to the MCQ part. The first question is the clutter appears in the output of the delay line canceller because option A is finite width of the clutter spectrum, option B is clutter makes internal motion, option C is the instability of MTI oscillator and improper signal processor and option D is all of the above. So basically the clutters appears at the output of the single delay liner is because of all the reasons that means because of the finite width of the clutter spectrum, because of the instability of the motion of the uh, clutter or improper signal processing. So we can say option D is considered as the right option. Next move to the next question. And the question is the clutter appears in the output output in the form of option A is sinusoidal superimposed variation, option B is cosine constant variation, option C is finite spectral width located on PRF that is pulse repetition frequency and option D is none of the above and we can say that the clutter appears in the output in the form of finite spectral width located on the pulse repetition frequency. Now let us move to the next question. And the question is there is a trade off between amount of clutter tolerable and hardware system cost of MTR radar and we require to prove whether the statement is true or false. So we can say the statement is true that is there is a trade off between amount of clutter tolerable and hardware system cost of MTR radar. So this is what about the clutter attenuation by the MTR radar when we increase the number of single delay line canceller then it is possible to increase the value of clutter attenuation and we can get the desired amount of signal or we can get the proper signal at the output. With the help of single delay line canceller it is not possible to remove the complete clutter from the output of the MTI receiver. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.